Last month, we started the renovations on this little brick house that we are planning to completely renovate and then resell. All of the demo on the inside of the house is complete. And now in today's video, we are going to start working on the exterior of this flip house, removing the old landscaping and just getting this house ready for new windows, fascia and paint. Hello everyone, so we are down here at the Little Brick House today to get started on the exterior of the house. It's been really cold this past week, but it's finally starting to warm up a little bit, so we are going to get started on that today. We'll start off by removing these bushes and things from the front of the house. I've got some paint samples to try on the side of the house, and we also did get a new AC and heater installed last week, so I'll show that footage as well. Jalen is starting by removing this large bush that was in front of the porch. We hated to remove such a large bush that had been growing for so many years, but it was blocking the porch and we want to make this front porch a beautiful statement on the front of the house. I'll share our inspiration pictures here in a little while so you can get an idea of what that will look like. And Jalen also wants to make a walkway curving out from the driveway that will go straight up to the front door instead of just the little walkway along the side of the house like they have now. As you can see, we did end up deciding to remove the old swamp cooler off of the roof of the house and it's stored there in the garage until we get it sold. I'll go ahead and show the footage from the day that that was removed and the new heating and cooling system was installed. The old swamp cooler was just such an eyesore on the roof of the house and having a new heating and cooling system that is actually on the ground and not up on the roof is going to be a way higher selling point. Arctic Air installed this new heating and cooling system. They're the same ones who installed the new heating and cooling system at our house last year. And so we knew we wanted them to do the new heating and cooling system here at the Flip House and they did an awesome job. I'll put their contact info down below. If you're local, they're really awesome. And if we have to install any new HVAC systems on Flip Houses in the future, they are going to be the ones we'll be calling. The new heating and cooling system is installed here on the side of the house out of eyesight. This is an expense that we weren't originally planning on, but since we decided to do a new roof, that kind of pushed us to go ahead and install a new HVAC system. Nothing had to be replaced on the inside of the house. It was just this new unit and it was a good investment into the house and definitely raises the value.
Jalen wasn't able to get this stump out with just a shovel, so he knows somebody down the road that has a backhoe that we can rent for a little bit to get this stump out and then also the rest of the stumps around the house. So here is our inspiration picture for the front porch. It won't look exactly like this, but we're using this picture for inspiration for colors, um, wood and stain colors and roof. We're going to be doing a metal roof on the house, like a charcoal gray metal, charcoal gray fascia. Then I want to do an off white paint color on the outside of the house. I'm hoping to stain the front door and then we'll have stained wood posts around the porch with potted plants. We'll be installing black windows and have some black accents. We're going to attempt to build some skinny wooden shutters like what you see in the picture up there on the right and then also add a wood beam up in the eave of the peak of this roof here on the front above the windows. So yeah, we're using those pictures for our inspiration. I just pieced them together in a collage. I got them all from Pinterest. And so we just have them pieced together in one picture that we can use as we're picking out colors and just designing the front of the house. So hopefully over the next couple of months, this house will start to transform into a beautiful home on the outside. We'll also add, of course, landscaping around the front of the house as well. Hello everyone, so it's Monday morning now. On Saturday we got a couple hours of work done down at the flip house and now today we're gonna head back down there and get everything finished up that we can. So when we're heading down to the flip house, I always pack us a lunch and some snacks. I just packed our lunch and now I'm going to pack us some snacks. And thankfully we just got our Thrive Market box and there is a lot of yummy snacks in here. So I'm gonna get all this unboxed and then we can pick out some snacks to take with us. And Thrive Market is sponsoring today's video, so a big thank you to them. I'm really excited to be working with them today. So Thrive Market is an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. You can find everything you need on Thrive Market, organic and essential groceries, clean beauty, safe supplements, non-toxic home. And if you're a member, you can save an average of $32 on every order. You can filter the catalog of products by your values and diet dietary preferences and Thrive Market did give me a special offer to share with all of you. If you click my link down below, you get 40% off your first order and a free gift that's worth over $50. Something I love about Thrive Market is their Thrive Gives initiative. So for every paid membership, they donate a free membership to someone in need, so it makes it possible for low-income families to access natural, organic, and non-GMO foods and products for the first time. As you can tell, I was really hungry when I placed this order. I've got a lot of snacks here. These crunchy almond flour chocolate chip cookies looked really delicious, and then I got some creamy peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, a bunch of sweets over here. These are smart sweets. I got a bunch of different ones to try. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I love peanut butter cups, so I'm excited to try these. Some chocolate covered almonds those are my favorite so I got two bags of those dried organic pineapples chomps beef sticks organic freezer pops and this is my favorite creamer right here but I haven't been able to find it in the store and they had it on Thrive Market I needed some more vanilla extract so I got a container of that got some cornstarch back here because I was out of that also was out of chocolate chips this was the free item in my order I got two packages of the nut pods coffee creamer honey graham crackers and then organic grain free granola and that's everything that I got here here. Don't forget you can get 40% off and also a free gift worth over $50 with your first order. So if you want to try out Thrive Market, be sure you click my link down below and a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video.
this day we were hoping to finish clearing out all of the bushes and just getting it clean around the house and ready for paint whenever we can paint right now it's looking like it might be a couple of weeks before we can do anything down here at the flip house just because our next steps are new windows new roof and fascia and then of course the new drywall on the inside the drywall is a couple of weeks out from somebody being able to do that we can't really do anything in the house until that gets done and then our windows and our roof are at least a month out or more at this point and we can't really do anything on the outside until the windows and the roof gets done because we are cutting a hole in the brick for a new window on the right side of the house and they'll have to do some brick work around the window and things so we won't be able to paint until that's complete we are hoping to go and pick out our kitchen cabinets maybe in the next two weeks go ahead and get those ordered a while but it might be a few weeks before you see a flip house video here on my channel just because there won't be a whole lot going on so we'll just be working on some projects up at our house while we wait for all of these things to happen. There's a skeet bush growing here on the side of the house. Look at the thorns on this thing. Yikes. Looking at this footage here and just seeing how bad the back of the house looks, we're both just like, oh, uh, what did we get ourselves into? This house has such a long ways to go. It can just be a little overwhelming sometimes, but we're excited to see our vision for this house come to life. We know it's going to turn out awesome in the end, but we've just got a little ways to go before we get to that point. So the week before I had gone into Lowe's and I got four paint samples to try on the outside of the house, got four of their little 90 cent paint brushes. These are just great for doing paint samples when you have to have a different paint brush for each sample. I'm trying to find just a nice creamy off-white color for the outside of the house, something similar to the colors of the houses in that mood board that I I created so if one of these four colors doesn't work I'll just keep on searching I don't want it to be a stark white I'm just really trying to go for that creamy off-white color but it's really hard to find the perfect creamy off-white color because a lot of them look a little bit yellow So all of these whites kind of look the same. I was trying to go for more of a creamy white, something a little bit of an off-white color. I think I'm leaning more towards this one right here. This is the one I thought I would pick. This is called Creamy, but it's almost too white. I don't want that stark white look. I want it to have that off-white creamy look like I said. So. I'm not sure. These are obviously way too small to tell. Um, once we get the black windows in and the new roof, I think I want to paint each of these paint colors on like a big piece of wood or a big piece of cardboard that I can hold up to the house. This is the creamy paint color over here in the shade and it still just looks too white so 
I don't think that's going to be an option. This one's called Luxury Linen, and I think this might be the one I'm leaning towards. Here you can see the paint on the lid there. So the reason I didn't paint huge swatches of paint onto the house for samples is because this is adobe brick, so there's going to be several steps to prepare it for paint. We have to use the proper products on it, so I didn't want to just cover the house with all of this sample paint because I'm sure I'm going to be trying out even more colors, so it's going to be easier to just paint it on a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood or something that I can hold up to the house in different lighting, especially once we get the new roof and the new fascia installed that will really help me to pick a color. I was going to quickly show you here while we're in the backyard. There is a garden shed in the backyard, which is great. The new owner can put their little push mower, garden tools, whatever into the shed. And we are planning to paint this shed the same color as the house. So here at the end of the video, I'm going to show the footage of what Jalen was working on down at the flip house this last week, and that was to remove all of the popcorn ceiling from the two bedrooms and also the living room. So to remove this, he sprayed the ceiling down with water and then attached his scraper to his shop vac. That way when he scraped it, the shop vac would just suck up everything. And then there was only a little bit of mess on the floor that he had to clean up. This worked really awesome and was really easy, he said but he said that you can't spray the popcorn ceiling with water and scrape it this way if it has been painted and the two bedroom ceilings hadn't been painted so he was able to spray them with water before he scraped them but the living room ceiling had been painted so he wasn't able to spray that with the water and it was way harder to scrape off but now all of the popcorn ceiling is gone and the ceiling is ready for some new texture and paint So I'm back home now and I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can go and edit it. It might be a couple weeks before we have another video about the flip house just because right now we're waiting on different things like the roof and the windows and the drywall and it's going to be about a month until the roof and the windows get installed and then we're also waiting on the drywall. That may be a couple weeks out. So we can't really go any further at the house at this point. So for the Saturday videos, we'll just be working on some projects here at home for a little while. And then once we have enough footage down at the flip house, once there's things going on down there, then we can have another video about that. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget that you can get 40% off your first order from Thrive Market. And you'll also get a free gift with my link down below. And we will see you in a couple days with a new video. Video. Bye.